Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I am bringing you another empties video and I have a ton of products to go through. So I recommend grabbing a snack, grabbing your drink of choice. I have my Panera Bread iced tea latte with me. So let's get into this. I'm gonna organize everything into categories. I like to do makeup, hair, skin care, body care, and then I put a few random items in the mix. So yes, definitely keep on watching and we'll get into this. Okay, let's start with the makeup category. So I used up two setting sprays. I have the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Setting Spray. I got this in a boxy charm. It had some shimmer in it, so I had to make sure I shook this product really well and it was more of a hydrating moisturizing setting spray and it did add some glow. I did enjoy this, but if I didn't shake it good enough, I would notice like fine, like little shimmer on my face and I didn't really like that that much, but, but it didn't always do that, but I like the scent and I didn't mind this, so I used it up. Another setting spray took me a long time to use up. This is from Tatcha. It's a Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This sucker is $50. But I got it in the BoxyCharm Charm Room. So I got this product for free. And this product is so hyped up. Well, it used to be on YouTube. I know Jaclyn Hill talked about it all the time. I don't know. I didn't enjoy it that much. It made my skin like really oily. And it just wasn't my thing. Sometimes I would like to put it on like a wet sponge. And if my skin looked really powdery, I would spray it on the sponge and like tap it into my skin. But otherwise it was just too overpowering. And I don't know, I don't think it was worth the hype in my opinion. I used up, this is so sad, the CYO Life Proof Long Lasting Foundation. Now this is an awesome foundation, but unfortunately this line of makeup no longer exists. Um, I do believe they said the Soap and Glory foundation is an exact dupe to this, but I don't even know if Soap and Glory still has makeup. I don't know, but it was awesome and it was only, it was pretty affordable. I believe it was under $5. My friend Sarah got this for me. It had a perfect shade match, perfect coverage. I just loved it, but yeah. It's all gone. And I used up my Revlon Candid uh, Photo Ready Anti-Pollution Setting Powder in the shade 001. I really enjoyed this powder. I really enjoy the brand uh, Revlon Candid line of complexion products. I really enjoyed the original foundation. I used that up. I still have the like tinted moist, the light coverage. It's like a tinted moisturizer type candid product. I do like it. It has like a glow to it, but I think these products are awesome. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to repurchase just because I have so many other products to go through, but I definitely recommend this. I thought it was really nice. I have two products. I'm going to move you closer. I feel like I'm so far away. I like to be a close uh, filmer. <laughs> I like to be have you guys right up in my face. But anyways, I used two products from Shop Miss A. This is the Brow Sculpting Brow Pencil. And this is the one that was more like a teardrop. It isn't super fine. I didn't mind this. It was a little dry of a formula, but the color was really good. It's in the shade taupe. So I did like that. I mean, it worked, but it was a little bit more dry. And I had this, all the writing's kind of gone, but this was also in the shade taupe and it's like a brow uh, mascara tinted brow gel. And this was okay too, but the problem is it was like already dry or they didn't put a lot of product in it. So I didn't get much use out of it. I mean, it's good in a way because sometimes when you get brow products like this, there's too much product and too much comes out in your brows. But yeah, it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of a dud, but it, it's very inexpensive as well. But I probably wouldn't repurchase, honestly. I have two products from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Liquid Shadow in Bone Appetite. This was a part of like a Halloween collection. And I did enjoy this. This is just like a 
kind of like the steel uh, glitters and stuff like that. But the problem is it's dried out. So that's why it has to go. But it was so pretty. It just like gave you a nice shimmer on the eyes. Unfortunately, I didn't use it that much because I have a lot of makeup. That's the one problem with getting products like this. It doesn't last forever. So I have to tell myself not to overbuy on these types of products. And then this is my favorite. I actually have two now. One I'm wearing right now, one of my new ones. Nona gave me a couple Rebel Rose from her Dollar Tree. She found them there. This is like my favorite. This one is so old and so dry. But it's just the perfect like mauve pink color. I love it. And I'm happy I have two more in my collection. And I feel like this would be a forever repurchase because I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite, look, one of my favorite liquid lipsticks if I'm looking for a mauve color. And the last product in my makeup category is this mascara. It came in a boxy charm. It is from Kevin Aquan. It's the Expert Mash or Expert Mascara. The formula wasn't bad. I didn't like the brush. It was like weird shaped and it was a little more of a drier formula. I know some people really enjoyed this when it came in a boxy charm. I mean, this product is also super old, but for being like a luxury brand, I didn't think it was anything special. So I definitely would not repurchase. Woo, out of breath already. Okay, now we're gonna move on to skincare. So I finally used up this little guy. This is the Tarte Marjacuja oil. I got this at Sephora for like a hundred point perk. I remember everyone on YouTube talked about this as well. See, I don't really like facial oils that much. They do break me out. But when I experience really dry flaky skin, I get it around my nose. It happens to me every so often. I'll put this on at night and it really helps clear up that really flaky dry skin. But I don't think you need to spend a lot of money to get a, a facial oil to do that. I, I don't know. In my opinion, they all work the same. But it was a little size, but it lasted me forever. Okay, this item is from BoxyCharm. You'll notice I have a lot of BoxyCharm empties in here. I do enjoy the stuff I get in BoxyCharm, and I do use it up. But this is from Clean Skin club it's a vitamin c brightening booster it has watermelon green tea and pineapple i didn't really smell any of that in here but it was just a serum and i like to use this during the daytime in the a.m and i thought it was like a nice moisturizing uh serum so it wasn't bad another boxy charm item this is from mark jacobs a lot of this stuff's kind of dirty i have two cats so sorry if you see any cat hair but mark jacobs Earthquake Hydra Full Retexturing Gel Cream Moisturizer. So this is something I would use in the AM as well. And it was just a little pot. I completely cleared it out. And this is interesting. It was like a hybrid between a gel and a cream. So it wasn't too heavy, but it was moisturizing as well. Like it gave you moisture, but it wasn't too much. I thought it was perfect for the daytime. This product, I actually did a video when I did my CC cream from e.l.f. And I did a little demo showing how it removed makeup. It's the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It had hydrolonic acid, um, ceramide, and peptides. This is really nice. I thought it did a really good job removing my makeup. You don't get a lot of product, though. This is a really small container. And it was $10. I mean, it's not, like, super expensive, but it's not super cheap. And it did not last a long time. I went through it fairly quickly. But... It wasn't a bad product. I did enjoy this. This is a brand I am newly introduced with is the Derma E. And they sell this at my local grocery store Wegmans. And I'm also, right now, I'm currently using their cleansing balm. And I have been enjoying that. But this is their anti-wrinkle cleanser, vitamin A and glyconic, gly, glyconic acid. And this brand is cruelty free and vegan and all that. And this was around $10. So it's not super expensive, but it's not like super cheap either. 
but it's a good price range for high quality products. And I do believe they sell this brand on Ulta's website as well. This, it was a gel cleanser. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it. It didn't make my skin feel like stripped of moisture or anything, but my skin felt clean, which I enjoyed. So I would definitely, you know, repurchase this. And I like how it has the anti-wrinkle claim. I don't know if it really did anything for my wrinkles, but I did enjoy this cleanser a lot. Okay, these are two products I had. Oh my gosh. I had these forever and I'm so glad to get them out of my bathroom. It is the Target brand Up and Up Renewing Cleanser. It's an acne treatment. This was step one and this was the toner step two. It's kind of like um compared to the proactive treatment. I actually bought this for my daughter. She wasn't she didn't really use it that much and I just used it up. We had to get it out and it's very similar to proactive this is kind of like um exfoliating cleanser and a toner i mean it was nice it wasn't bad but i don't i didn't notice any like drastic changes to like if i had pimples or my daughter had pimples but we never used it consistently enough so i don't know but i'm just glad these are out these were so old okay this is another thing from boxycharm i was almost tempted to repurchase in the add-on store I did enjoy this and my daughter loved it. It's the Oda Sight uh, Blue Aurora Turmeric and Holy Basil Cleansing Water. This smelled like grapefruit. It was so nice. It is in a glass bottle and it did get dropped a few times, so there's some cracks. But it was just a cleansing water. We put it on like a little um, cotton pad and it helped to remove makeup. It didn't leave any sticky film behind. Honestly, I didn't feel like I needed to wash my face after to do a second cleanse, but I, I, you know, I would, but I didn't feel like I needed to. And my daughter really enjoyed this. She thought said it did an awesome job at cleaning her face. So this was not a bad product. Like, I don't, I'm sure like the retail price is like $30, but it is in BoxyCharm add-on store right now. And it was not a bad product. I did enjoy this. Okay, another BoxyCharm product is the Yetza Pump Pumpkin and Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. This smelled like pumpkins. You could definitely smell it. It had a strong scent. I did see some people did not like the scent. I didn't mind it. Um... I didn't really use it as a mask. I used it more as an exfoliator, like a polisher. And I don't know, I liked it. I thought it would, I enjoyed using it and I didn't have a hard time using it up. So, but it's nice to get that out of my collection as well. This is a really nice product from Sunday Riley. Riley. This came in a boxy charm. It's the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. I did like this. It wasn't too powerful where it irritated my skin, but it wasn't super gentle either, where I felt like it was doing something for my skin. And it's supposed to help, like, um, help produce new skin cells and stuff. And um, if you have clogged pores and stuff like that, it's supposed to help with that. I did really enjoy it. My daughter actually liked it too. So we we're both using it. So we went through this product really quick. This product is like an $80 product though. If I see it in like a BoxyCharm add-on store or on discount, I would reconsider repurchasing. I just got some makeup wipes. I try not to use makeup wipes all that much, but sometimes I do purchase it. My daughter do, does like using them sometimes. And sometimes like if you're in a hurry or something, they do come in handy, but I know they're not good for the environment. But this is just compared to the Neutrogena. It's the Top Care brand, like a generic brand. But this is the only one I have in my empties, so I do not buy these a lot. Okay, so I got this at, I believe, TJ Maxx. It is a cleanser. It's Nourish Beauty Botanical Beauty Glow Getter Cream Cleanser. And this is like a cruelty-free brand. And the only thing, this is a nice cleanser. The only thing when I first used it, it stunk. It has like a mildew scent and I realized there's like pictures of mushrooms on it. It has like a mushroom scent. So I hate mushrooms. I do not like them. So the scent was hard to get used to. I wonder if I can still smell it. Yeah, kind of has that weird mush mushroom because I'm like, what the hell did they put in here? And I'm looking at it and they don't add any fragrance to it. So I really, it's just the natural 
mushrooms that they use, I guess. But it worked nice. It was gentle on my skin. It cleansed. It did its job. I just didn't enjoy the scent. And the last item in my skincare is the Thayer's Facial Toner with Rich Hazel. It's a rose petal scent. This is alcohol free. I feel like this toner is a gentle toner. Um, it just helps remove any leftover makeup that my cleanser didn't get to and balances my skin, but I don't think it works on like clogged pores or blackheads or anything like that. But it's nice for a gentle, if you have sensitive skin, in my opinion, because it's alcohol free, I didn't find it was irritating. So I don't think it's a bad product. I know this is like really hyped up for like on TikTok it was, and a lot of the younger people really enjoy this, but it wasn't bad. Okay guys, now we're gonna get into the hair care. And we have a lot of hair care. Okay, I have a bunch of little one-use masks. I got this from Ion. This is a repair deep conditioning mask. I got this at Sally's for like after bleaching or whatever. I thought it was nice, thought it was good. This is the Clairol Shimmering, Shimmering Lights Violet Toning Mask. So this is more like a deep conditioner. You know, really purple. Um, I thought it did a good job like toning after, I think I used it after bleaching. So I thought it did a good, decent job. These two I got at the Dollar Tree. They're from Freeman. This is the Smoothing Jehovah Oil Hair Mask and then the Chamomile one. I can't remember which one had like a really cooling sensation. I wanna say it was this one, it almost felt minty. So I really, really like this. I think they were both not bad, actually. I do have a Wella T18 toner. This is the toner I like to use. I never know what I throw into this bag, honestly. Some things I throw in, some things I just throw out, so I don't know. This is another thing from the generic value, or generic value product brand. This is the Blonde Leave-In Treatment. It is compared to It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment for Blondes. So it's just like a, um, it says it tones hair, adds vibrancy and shine, but I think it's more like a leave-in conditioner type treatment. And it has a very faint purple tone in this, but I don't think it does anything to actually tone my hair, but it was okay. I, I, like, to use, I like using products like this. I have these two hair masks. They're both from the Dollar Tree. It is Daily Defense Coconut Oil and Vitamin E. My daughter loved this. She thought it was so good. She wants me to pick up more. And this one is from Salon Selectives. It's for Damage Hair Argan Oil Hair Treatment. I felt like this was just like a regular conditioner. It wasn't thick like a uh, conditioning mask should be. It just had the consistency of any other regular conditioner. So... I didn't think anything, there's nothing special about this, honestly. I have this from Sally's. It is the Age Beautiful Ultra Bond Number 2 Bond Synergy Deep Treatment Hair Mask. And I feel like this they're trying to be comparable to like Olaplex. I've never tried that. I would love to, but they're very expensive. But I thought it was a great leave-in conditioner. It's a, or not leave-in, a, a great like deep conditioning mask. And it was around $10 and it smelled really good and I thought it really conditioned my hair. This has been a repurchase for me. This came in a boxy charm. It is the Rose Quartz Hair Mask. This was awesome. It was super thick, super hydrating. It did have like a little shimmer in it because it, it had supposed to have a rose quartz in it, but it didn't like leave shimmer in my hair or anything. I loved it, my daughter loved it and it smells like roses. A lot of people don't like roses. I don't mind it, but I thought it was an awesome hair mask. And you've got a lot of product in this as well. This is another BoxyCharm item. It is from the IGX. It's the Prenup Instant Hair Spray Mask. I remember when I did my BoxyCharm video, I said, I don't know about this. I feel like I'm going to use it up really quick. And I did. And you're supposed to shampoo your hair, kind of wring it out, and then spray it in. I felt like I wasted a lot of product. Like I would miss my hair. Um... And this is more of like a high-end brand. I would definitely not repurchase. I felt like I blew through this so quick. Okay, here is the Pantene Pro-V Smoothing Recovery Mask. 
and it's smooth, unruly, frizz prone hair. I don't know, I liked it. I thought it smelled really good. Of course, I like the way Pantene Pro-V smells. I heard Pantene is not really good for your hair, but I did find this at my grocery store and I was looking for a hair mask and I don't know, I like it. And then we have one dry shampoo. This is from Dove in the fresh coconut scent. It doesn't really smell like coconuts. I do like this. Um, my hair doesn't really get oily ever. Um, it'll, cause my hair is so dry. Like I know I need to wash it when it feels like dirty, but it doesn't feel oily. <laughs> um, but I do like to use dry shampoo to add volume to my hair. So this is more affordable and I liked it. Okay, next we are going to go into body care, which includes like bath and body stuff, perfume, fragrance, stuff like that. So let's get into it. This is from Bath and Body Works. It is the Aromatherapy Sleep Lavender and Vanilla Sugar Scrub. This is really nice. It was kind of oily and it did leave kind of like an oily film on your skin, but it was very moisturizing for the winter. I love the scent because it helped relax me at nighttime, that lavender, you know, sleep scent. I do, I don't know, I thought it was a nice product. I felt relaxed and I used it and it did moisturize. I have, this is also from Bath and Body Works. You can see the Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> um, and it's in Rose and Lavender Sleep Body Wash. Really enjoy these products from Bath and Body Works. I love their aromatherapy line. And this is really nice as well. I have these two products from the Dollar Tree and I think they're trying to dupe like the Bath and Body products. Um, this is in Relax and Slumber. See, they weren't really strongly fragrance and I, you know, I keep buying stuff from the Dollar Tree, like the body washes and I just don't like them. They're like kind of jelly and they don't really suds up that well, but I would use them as bubble bath and I thought they worked really well like that. So I mean, they're only a dollar, it's not bad, but they're just not as good as the Bath and Body Works in my opinion. And I got these two, they're from the same line from Dollar Tree, the April Bath and Shower. This is the Bath Soaks and this one is the Lavender and this is a Eucalyptus scent. They smell nice. I noticed these bath salts took a long time to dissolve. <laughs> like I would get in my bath and sit down and it felt like little sharp rocks are poking me. They just took a long time to dissolve. But these from the Dollar Tree, these Epsom salts from the Assured brand, they're Sleep Aids, lavender scented, are awesome. They smell amazing. They dissolve really fast. And I feel like your bath water is like, I don't know, it feels like moisturizing in the bath water. And it's supposed to help you sleep and help like with stiffness. I don't know, the, these were awesome. Definitely would repurchase this. This was a bath bomb from the Dollar Tree and these were cucumber and aloe, aloe, a three pack. These are really nice and I really enjoy that cucumber aloe scent. I recently got this at the Dollar General. These are Shower Burst. This one is in lavender. It's just like a little like disc and you put it in the bottom of your shower and it's supposed to have the steam when the water hits, it's supposed to give you like aromatherapy experience. This is really nice. I like this. Next time I would break it in half though because my shower didn't completely dissolve it and I felt like I wasted it. So yeah, for sure next time I would break it in half. I have two perfumes. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is compared to Britney Spears Fantasy. It smelled really good. It didn't last long in the skin, but it smelled really good and it was a dollar. And this one was a gift from Little Betsy 79. This is my Christmas present. It's from Replica. It is what was this one? Beach Walk. Oh, it smelled good. So good. And it was a small size, but it lasted me since December when I got it. So I did really enjoy this amazing scent. It would be amazing summer scent. So maybe I'll repurchase. We'll see. Oh, there's a little left. It just smells amazing. I have a few body sprays. This one is Bath and Body Works Snow and Flakes and Cashmere. I can, honestly can't remember what it smelled like. I feel like this was my daughter's, but you know, Bath and Body Works has great fragrance sprays. This one is from Pink. It is Hot Petals. 
and Pink Lotus and Forever Summer Fields. I believe this is my daughter's as well. She must have threw it in there, but I love their body sprays as well. And then this is mine. I remember I used it up. Bath and Body Works Magic in the Air. And this is a really nice like winter fragrance, I thought. This I got at the Dollar Tree. It is the Power Stick Body Spray for her. I thought it was like a deodorant spray, but it's not. It's like a fragrance spray. And I first I sprayed it under my armpits and it burned really bad. There's alcohol in here. So I don't know. I, I didn't, it was kind of not a, pr a product that I was into, but I used it up. And then I have three deodorants. I have the Suave Powder Original. Got it at the Dollar Street Tree. It's a classic. The Dove. Um, this one is an apple and white tea. Smell really good. I think Dove is really gentle under your armpits and they help moisturize. I don't know. I like Dove. And then I got Old Spice. This is Bear Glove. Bear Glove smells amazing. I always hear influencers talking about like different scents from Old Spice. But Bear Love smells so good. I would I love using Old Spice. I'm currently actually using some Old Spice, but it's a, it's like Oasis, I think it's called. But Bear Love is so good. Okay, guys, I am almost done. My phone says 28 minutes. I'm gonna have to edit this down to make it as short as possible. But these are my random items. I have a 7-Eleven brand melatonin lavender spearmint. This is to help you sleep. It's like a melatonin shot. Um, kind of similar to five hour shots, but you know, to make you sleep. I I remember I did not like the taste at all. Terrible. But I, it did help you sleep. Another sleep aid is my z -Quil Pure Z's Sleep and Immune System Support. This has melatonin, elderwood, and zinc. All these taste so good. I love them and they knock me out. Awesome. And this is from Bath and Body Works. It's a sh stress relief pillow spray. These are really nice. I feel like if you want to relax at nighttime before you go to bed, spray your bed. They, these come in all different scents. Right now, I think I have a love one. I'm not sure. But I don't know. It's just nice. And you get in your bed and it smells good. It's just a nice... I don't know if it actually helps, but it's nice. I have the Colgate Altic Alt Alt White Mouthwash. I do need to repurchase. I feel like it really makes a difference. Like if you drink, I'm a big tea drinker and I know my teas are not in the best shape. I always try to hide them, I'm embarrassed, but I really felt like this did wonders to really help. So, and I haven't been using like a whitening mouthwash recently. I've been using something else. So I definitely could tell the difference. So I have to get more. And my last item is a candle. This is a little candle. It's from White Barn. It's like from Bath and Body Works and this is blueberry sugar. Smells really sweet. I had it burning in the back of my videos. It's not all done, but the wick won't light anymore, so it's pretty much it's pretty much gone. But one thing about Bath and Body Works, they smell amazing, but they burn really quick. Cause I only burn this when I would film videos, and that was it. And it's not like I had it burning all day, and I felt like I went through it really quick. But I don't know. Okay, guys, so that is it for my empties. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you stayed at this, this long, I really appreciate it. And I hope you would love to subscribe and stick around on my channel for a little bit. I'd really appreciate that. But have a wonderful day, and I will for sure see you guys soon. Bye.